Hey, Dan. Yes? Is that what I think it is? Look what I got. Oh god, that hurt. Hey, Creeper. He's stuck. <laughs> so you see, I have freezing arrows. You see that? I do. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Hey, you got a loot satchel. Haha, <laughs> zombie. I love that noise. So check it out, you can actually hit water and it freezes it. I wanna try. Also, this is the elemental bow, so it actually has multiple modes. I switched it into fire mode, now the arrows are actually fire arrows. And they have the opposite effect, they're actually melting the ice into water and then melting the water and just evaporating the water. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, or it sets fire. And the ice arrows actually put out fire. So how do you make one of those? Alright, now, the elemental upgrades are heat and freezing. If you only put one, on, one of them on there, it'll just say heat or freezing. But if you put the both on it, it'll actually change the name of the bow to the elemental bow. And it just won't show the other ones. So it looks like we've got the stuff to at least get sh get one flying suit at the moment. Whoever gets that the flying suit should go to the nether and uh, grab some more glowstone. You don't really need a full one. But I did just go get a little bit of glowstone from the nether a bit ago. Like I just went and just hoped I didn't die, and I didn't. So, But then again, I also had my freezing bow, so that was helpful. I want to see how that works in the nether. <laughs> well, oops for the fire arrow. I accidentally shot an arrow at a creeper. It hit the ground and it just burned like half of our sheep. Yeah, I almost set this forest on fire. It was in normal mode. I should have had it in free in ice mode. I almost set this forest on fire. They're all getting free because I don't have I don't have any more things to put here. Now this will have to do. Alright, that'll work. <laughs> it was awful! Alright, now on our upgrade list here, there are some things that uh, are a little difficult to get. Now this one right here is obviously gas tier, but these suckers right here are both potions. Which means that we need to get what? Blaze rods, obsidian, a diamond, that's right, nether wart and blaze powder. Now this little guy right here, the traditional symbol of freedom and avian flu, is uh, it's actually the rock's feather. The sucky thing about this is you need not only a feather now for wing, you need two glowstone dust, so you have to go to the nether first, and you need something called feather dust, which it was recently added. Do you know how to get feather dust? I have no idea. I'll give you a hint. Grinding shears. Okay, that's neat. Yeah, so if you shear chickens with grinding shears, you actually get feather dust. So I, I made myself just force boots, and I'm going to put a rock's feather, sugar, and heat on there. It's about all I can really get right now. Well, that should allow me to fly at least for a little bit. And the heat now actually does affect force armor. It uh, gives you some fire resistance. If you have up to three pieces of uh, heat imbued force armor, you will be you should be completely resistant to fire. Should I make myself a pair of those boots? I say make some boots. You could fly for like 16 seconds. That's not bad. Oh, I can double jump now. Well, not very much. That double jump is pitiful with only one piece. But it's still better than vanilla jumping. Oh yeah, look at that. All the parkour stuff you could do with this. Anything's better than vanilla. 
Oh, by the way, don't fly too much. This does damage the force armor. So if you fly for like four or five minutes straight, it will be broken. So, you know, pace yourself. I almost forgot this thing. I, mine already took like 36 damage. Now, the ability to make a rod of fire resistance before you go to the nether is configurable in that you can make you can make fire resistance potions the only source of heat if you want to. Okay, just to give it a little extra bit of hardness. Nether time. Nether, 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 nether. I'm gonna leave some of my force packs in here though. I hope that jerk gas isn't right here. Ice arrows! You can actually freeze cobblestone into stone. You can actually freeze netherrack into cobblestone into stone. <laughs> so if you did a quick stone fortress, you could just, in the nether, you could just use your ice arrows. I just turned that force into uh, overworld force. Yeah. Oh, I see. This does it in, in area mode, and below the gravel was this stuff that it could smelt <laughs> into nether brick. So yeah, that's nice. You can get some nether brick that way. Of course, this thing also uh, also sets fire to blocks. And you'll notice that these little things, these little entity items, aren't actually burning. Like, they're burning, but they're not. They're those invincible items that they drop. Because I was aware of the fact that if you smelted things like this, you'd likely burn most of the stuff you smelt. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. I like that. Alright, let's brief flight here just to do something like this. Because I don't want to damage the armor too much. So that thing breaks and I go crunch. Oh, look at that, it's already... Dude, my force boots are almost... Have, are, they're, already like, they're already like a third of the way down. Mine are almost dead. See, isn't this more balanced? I don't like it. Well, it'll be easier later. You can use uh, the iForce consumer interface to just store liquid force in there, and you can extend the life of them like five or six or so times. Or you can just use charge like you did before. Yeah, but we do need to find a fortress at some point. This is going to be kind of difficult, actually, I think. Can I make it there? I don't think I can make it there. I can make it. Oh my gosh. I got a gas tear. Yay! Da -na -na -na. That's how it goes, right? That's how you do it. Only I may do the sound. So I went ahead and went a wing sword because that's going to get me a lot further than uh, the boots are. And I won't have to rely on the flight really much. Now just keep in mind that the wing sword now is actually going to take a damage every time you fling yourself with it. This is not the dark craft I used to know. But again, it makes more sense, like, when you're leveling the tome and all this stuff, that you make tools and use them up. Not make one set of armor that you just use forever. Dude, look at this chicken over here! He's still just freaking out in the corner! That is so funny! He's like our pet. And you... Are, you always try to kill him. Oh, that is awesome! I love that! He's just on... Oh, he's gone. He's done. I was like, if he's just going to stay on the infuser, that would have been the coolest thing ever. We have, a chi we have an infuser chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is really starting to bug me. Get over here. Got him. Got the little jerk. We should bring some dirt down here, some a grass block or two, and put a, a pig in the wall. So every time we need bacon, we just walk up to him, click, and uh, rip his skin off and eat. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's awesome! I mean, awesome for us, not the pig. Alright, this is this is going to be harder than it usually is. So, dark craft checklist of nether things. 
One. At least one piece of wing armor. Check. Check. One wing sword. Check. Check. I have two. A freezing bow. Check. Check. A bucket of force. Also, a rod of fire resistance. I got the rod of fire resistance. No bucket of force. Alright, so here's something fun. You see in the nether, there are these, like, large pillars of... Of a, really, it's just one flowing block of lava from the very top, and it just flows all the way down. Well, what you could do is you could take your ice arrows, hit that very top block, and just plug it up and watch it just fall. It's fun. Yeah, I've noticed that. That's pretty sweet. Just plug it up, and then watch it just fall. You know what we need? To be able to uh, upgrade a rod with bacon, then you continuously eat on the rod until it stirability's off up. That's that's a good idea, but I uh, I think I got to make the baconator. It's a completely different thing, but it does use bacon. Now be careful. You only have bronze armor, right? Although you do have a bucket of force. <gasps> Baby zombie pig man. They're so cute yet horrifying. Ah, oh, it's such a peaceful day in the nether. The zombie pig men are busily running around doing absolutely nothing. Did you did you make that little area? I did. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, this so reminds me of Majora's Mask. Like when you shot uh, an ice arrow at water, it spawned like a little glacier. Yeah, I gotcha. We finally found another fortress. Oh my gosh, there's a blaze thing up here. Ready, re ready your wrench. I see a blaze thing. Got it. Awesome. All right, one. That's one step. Now we just need the nether wart. There's another spawn over there. That's ridiculous. Let's see. The nether wart only spawns in very specific structures. Structures. Oh wow! What luck. I found another wart. I love just being able to hop across these things. Oh, now you like the hopping. I told you I like the high thing about Weather Skeleton. I have ne I have Nether Wart and I have Soul Sand. We now need to return. It's south and south and west. It looks like. All right, I'll follow you. Let's look somewhere in this direction. We got all the junk we need. I've lost you already. So I just added the grinding upgrade to Force Swords, or rather, I, I mean, it's been on there, but right now it actually, like, does something cool to entities. Ooh, there are entities out, so I'm gonna go test it. Oh, here we go. I got a chunk. Dan, I got a chunk. Check it out. I got a chunk. Pretty useful for mining, Wes, it looks like. It's not useful for mining. I had a skeleton drop this. Bread meal? Yeah, if you have grinding on a on a skeleton, you, you grind their bones to make your bread. Oh, okay. I got a skeleton chunk, too. I got a spider chunk. I got one of each. Do you know what those are for? I have no idea. Alright, so you could smelt any kind of a chunk into into a mob ingot of, of whatever color that is. And you could use those ingots... Uh, you just use them to make, like, force ingots, either regularly or in the carpenter. Or you can also use them for very specific recipes. Like, if you go in NEI and look up the inert core, that recipe is changed. So, you have to use black mob ingots and light gray mob ingots. Now, these, these drop from very specific things. Uh, the black ones you will only get from wither skeletons. And the light gray ones you will only get from ghasts. So if you want another, if you want an inert core to get a nether star, you gotta you gotta go to the nether, and actually kill stuff with a grinding sword. 
Eh, that's not a bad change. But the nice thing is you can actually use these chunks in a roundabout way to craft yourself a vanilla spawner of any type of entity that you can get chunks for. Oh, cool. So basically what you want to do is you want to go out and grind on mobs with grinding, and you'll get chunks which you can eventually convert into a spawner for that entity. To be continued. Da, 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 da. Only I may do the sound.